family in church I need to make sure that they are all right because they're going through some things they've suffered some things and the climate or the atmosphere is one that would cause them to suffer let me park there just for a moment I hope y'all don't mind me parking but let me park there for a moment understand that in this walk called Christendom you are going to have to suffer some things you might not have your body torn asunder you might not be boiled in oil that's not going to happen but you will have some lies told on you uh-huh you will have some folk talk about you uh-huh you will have some people to falsely accuse you of things that you have not done you will have to go through some things in life if you're going to walk this walk so i just came to let you know to expect to suffer oh because if you suffer with them you're gonna reign with them don't you understand what i'm saying in the house today uh, sometimes we get so caught up in the fact that we're living for god and i'm excited about living for him until when life throws us darts that we cannot handle then we're just ready to throw in the towel and let go oh but the devil is a liar it's not about you throwing in the towel but it is about you standing in the midst of a pressurized climate it is about you standing and making sure that you know who you are that you know whose you are in the midst of adversity it is about you standing for what you know God has already done for what you know he can do and what you know he's able to do and if he did it back then he can do it now so it's about you standing in the midst of the pressure put your hands together and praise him Oh, I feel God in here. I feel him. I feel him. I feel him. Yes, I hear the Bible in First Peter says, Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing has happened to you. In other words, we get to a place to when we go through trials, we want to question God, why me? We want to question God, are you sure that this particular trial was meant for me? Because I can think of some folk that it should go to. I can think of some folk that really would deserve this one right up and through here but not me you must have me confused with somebody else because I've been living for you and I've been going to church every time the doors open and I've been fasting and praying and I've been doing what they told me to do they say come early I got there early they say stay late I stay late now what in the world is going on but think it not strange baby it's for the making of you it's so you can get the oil of the anointing poured on you do I have anybody in the house that wants the oil come on and put your hands together and praise him Ah, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering. In other words, you got to get excited about the fact that I'm going through. Can I just be transparent for a moment? If you don't mind, can I just tell you about me? I got a call the other day. Yeah? And, and can I tell it? Is it all right? Yeah. I got a call the other day. And, and, and I checked my voicemail. And the call basically said that you are a false prophet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Told me just like that. You are not of God. God doesn't know you. He never has known you. And the caller said, I curse you in the name of Jesus. Well, now, when I got the call, it was on a voice message, so I couldn't respond back, you know. So I listened to the call, and I, and I begin to say the blood of Jesus. Sometimes you got to speak stuff. When people speak it into you, you got to just give it back. You got to just give it back. And I begin to speak the blood of Jesus. Didn't have a number, couldn't call back, nothing like that. Didn't really want to. But they said, you are cursed. I curse you. God doesn't.